Fluffies! Today I am showing you the new pin collection from Fluffy Dory that we made for Halloween! Are you excited? My name is Joelle and welcome to my YouTube channel Fluffy Garage. Today I will show you our new pin collection. So there are three pins in this collection. And I have an extra special one here. So, as you know, I'm also the owner of Fluffy Dory. It's the Lolita brand. And we have done many, many pin series and they are very popular. So I wanted to do something for Halloween. My goal was to release it before Halloween. And when she showed me pictures, um, the pins did not have the epoxy layer on it. And so it meant that it was not shiny. And yeah, I don't like the pins without epoxy usually, especially when they have glitter because the glitter tends to go off so it's not nice. So she actually tracked the package back before it was actually shipped and then she added epoxy and she shipped it back to me. So um, yeah that's very nice but then we did not uh, make it for Halloween but that's better to have good quality a little bit late. Anyways uh, tons of my friends in Lolita for them it's everyday Halloween anyways so I'm sure you won't mind. So this one is a bat and it has the wings open and we made different ones. We made I think one flying sideways and another one that is actually like that sleeping and hanging upside down and we will make it a necklace maybe. So yeah we started designing three bats and we wanted more div diversity so we also did this cat that has a nice witch hat also glittery and we made a potion and of course it's a kawaii elixir potion because we love kawaii things you know what i said oh let's try to make something spooky and let's try to make something halloweeny and this is what we ended up with so we do love kawaii things at Fluffy Tori. So of course the designs are from Mezzo. She's the designer of Fluffy Tori. And I tend to give her the direction, but she ends up making cute stuff and I will never say no to cute stuff. So yeah, even though we are trying to make things not as kawaii cute and sweet as we would like, we end up making creepy cute stuff and not really spooky things because we cannot do that. Even it's like me uh, when I'm trying to do something for Halloween. I cannot be gothic. I'm really like sweet in my mind and core and I'm too sweet to be goth. And so the kawaii elixir is even pink so I think we're we're doomed pink and uh, purple and black and glitter and yep of course I think it would be so cute and there's so many people that do coordinates with purple or lavender in Halloween season and you can do something really cute with black so I'm pretty sure that will be super cute. So those will be available in the Fluffy Toy store like always and we do still have some of the Fluffy Toy fluffy lolitas birds. So if you want you can still buy some of those and I think we have like only seven of the ponies left out of the 200 or something. No even more. We made tons of those, like maybe 300, 400 of those. So only seven left. So that's, if you want one pony, you should totally grab them. And so, yeah, those are black in the back because I thought it's better to have a black outline than a silver or gold outline for such designs. And I did not want black backings, but I found they have pink ones so that's cute maybe not for this one but they, each of them almost have uh, some pink so I think it's cute and they had a purple one but it was totally different purple so that was not beautiful and uh, what else should I tell you yeah we always do two 
backings so because um, and two pins so then it won't turn and if you are losing one which is very unlikely but then the other one will still stick and you will not just lose your pen and also those are in rubble and not in metal and there's you know the butterfly ones that you have to um, grip to take off those can actually tear your dress or anything so this one or your blouse so this one is super safe myself I don't really like to put it through the fabric of my dress so sometimes what I do is I put it through the lace or I found another thing yes yeah, usually lace or yeah I don't like to make holes in the dresses so maybe in the blouses it's easier but depending on the fabric it might not recover from that hole so I don't want to risk it so I think they're so cute I'm so happy when they came I'm like oh yay really really happy the only issue that I have with the fluffy jewelry pins is that I'm producing too many different ones and I do not have enough space on my eater bag to put them all so that's a shame but for you guys you should totally get the new ones and maybe I will make a pack if you take like three you get a discount or something we'll see and this is a new pin also from Fluffitori but it's not in the same Halloween collection but it says everybody can be kawaii and it's a pin that I decided to make for my YouTube channel so if you want to get it you can also buy it on the Fluffy Tori store and it's very cool this one doesn't have the epoxy we have tried it with it so I have one with it and one without but I think um, this one isn't as pretty as this one the glitter doesn't actually come off but it's a rainbow plate meaning that it's a plate that reacts to I don't know what actually heat or something and they make it turn different colors in different places of the metal and so yeah you can see it's a different color so it's basically just one plate and glitter uh, for the text but since the plate itself the plate is like the metal part of the animal pin this one is a rainbow and so it looks super cool so yeah I am super happy how it looks and it says everybody can be kawaii so I would like to wear that super often to remind people that everybody can be kawaii that you can be kawaii that I can be kawaii and that anyone who would like to be kawaii is allowed to and is able to this is my message this is the message of my channel and I'm super happy to have that in the form of a pin right now to tell that to people everybody can be kawaii to remind it to everybody this is really important and actually tomorrow I'm turning 36 so I would like also to remind everybody that there is no age to be Lolita and I don't want to stop wearing Lolita fashion because I love it and right now it's very important for me I don't say that in 15 years this will still be important for me if I don't want to wear it anymore I will stop but right now I'm super happy about being old for some people and wearing lolita fashion and that's super cool and actually i do not feel that old even though i'm 36 i feel like a super young person because i'm doing what i love and that's awesome and also this last weekend like two weeks ago i met a girl who's just starting lolita fashion and she's 38 years old so this is amazing everybody can do it at any age so yep tons of new pins i hope that you love pins i think pins are some thing super cute because it's really like something physical hard very nice that you can hold in your hand and that's very cool it's not like I don't know a card or something so I love pins I don't wear them as often considering that I make them but I should wear them more so yep my coordinate today I uh, you don't even see it it's my purple dress from Metamorphose and with a black blouse from Borderline. This is my purple wig from Wish. This is a handmade ring. This I don't know where it comes from. And those are 
Body Line Wrist Cuffs. This is Baby Distortion Bright and this is H&M, I think. So, thank you so much for watching. Have a fluffy day and remember, everybody can be kawaii. And everybody can buy the pins in the Fluffy Toy Store with the link down below. Bye-bye! So, so.